we are here on our revolving stage recording our new music video for A Ton of Love. A little match in Vienna tonight It caused a fire in New York Birmingham band editors know a thing or two about success. Their last two albums both made number one. But after a couple of years away and with a new lineup, the excitement of being back is mixed with nerves as they return to a very different music industry. I guess the slight trepidation I have is like, we've been away for four years, you know, like the radio's changed dramatically, you know. Do we fit on the radio anymore? Maybe we don't, then that's fine. If we don't, we don't. But I um, just want to get out there and for people to hear the record and get going again, get touring and all that kind of stuff. There was certainly a point where we weren't entirely sure whether we could have carried on. Um, but we made, you know, we went, underwent some uh, serious surgery, I guess you can call it. And things changed, we got a couple of new guys in. Obviously it's been a bit of a turbulent time. Uh, we've lost a member but we've gained two. And, uh, you know, we're showing off the new group in the video, really. A lot's changed in the four years since editors last released an album. Not more so than the importance of the music video, which makes these 12 hours in a Bolton warehouse rather important for the Birmingham band. We came out in 2005, and there was, wasn't really a, a YouTube as such then, uh, or it was just starting getting going. And now this is what the, the video, most people are going to watch it on that, you know, rather than on the telly. Even in the space of time that we've been a band, the, the way you promote yourself has totally changed. You know, it's all about YouTube the, and, and Twitter, basically. And if you're not doing well on those two formats, then you're in trouble. But editors seem to have no worries there. They already have more than 10 million views on YouTube, and the new single is fast approaching 100,000 views in less than 24 hours. We went around the houses a little bit. We're trying to choose what treatment was right for us for this first song been away for a long time we needed to come back and, and make it right and and reintroduce everybody to the band again so a performance video was essential we send out a very brief uh, you know description and the song and then the directors put their their thought process on it and uh, we'd actually worked with uh, Mark who's the director and uh, he directed Munich I don't trust the government I don't trust myself Do I just get a, another run of that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And should we, before we go in any tight, should we try one with a projector? What I wanted to, to, to try and do is, is work with the idea of shadow play and see what we, what we could do with it. And what we're hoping to do, what, we, what I've been doing with the shoot today, what we're going to do in post is to look at using their shadows as, as effectively moving masks to bring other elements and contents into them and add something to the, to the performance feel to it really. We've always tried to um, do videos that stylistically kind of represent the band and, and feel connected to the music and days like this can go on and be a bit dull but I'm, I think we've made some good videos and this one feels good today. It's difficult to keep track of time <laughs> But uh, it's about six o'clock, I think. Uh, it's probably, well, it's, it's very dark and weird in here, but, and you sort of lose yourself. So we're, we're pretty much getting towards the, uh, the money end of the, the video shoot. We've done a lot of performance. I've got a bit sweaty. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're heading, heading to the end. The new album is out at the start of July, and the band is set to play festivals across Europe this summer. As for the video, well, this is how it turned out. We have been away for a while, so, um, you know, fingers crossed people still remember us. But, um, you know, the, I think this, this is a... We only had, like, one real single off the last album, and uh, I think this album's got about four or five singles to possibly choose from, so... Yeah, uh, hopefully people are going to be hearing it on the radio a lot. Desire, desire. We've been really lucky in the past. We've, we've actually shot in some quite nice situations. We went over to Prague one time, we did a video shoot, a couple, of, couple in America. So in the middle of Bolton's not particularly the most salubrious of uh, atmospheres to work in.
the making of the record and kind of the new band coming together has been amazingly rewarding. So and the record has exceeded my expectations really in many ways of what we were capable of doing. So I'm just excited. Yeah, I can't wait for people to hear it. What now? How do you celebrate? Uh, is it sleep or is it something? Uh, no, we're going to go for a kebab. <laughs> <laughs> it's late enough. It's just late enough. <laughs> yeah, what he said. <laughs>